There's a massive gap between how beginners and pros use ChatGBT. Anyone can ask it simple questions, but that's like using a Ferrari just to drive to the mailbox. Here's what's wild though. Just seven simple tricks can now completely transform how powerful this AI becomes for you. Here's what you need to know to go from ChatGPT beginner to ChatGPT pro. Number one, personalization matters. These custom instructions will make ChatGPT work 10 times harder for you. First, tap your profile picture and open the settings menu. Tap personalization and choose customize ChatGPT. The information that you share here will be used every time you have a conversation with ChatGPT. That's important to keep in mind. So if you tell it you're a small business owner focused on digital marketing, it will tailor its response responses to that specific expertise. This simple step makes every response more relevant to you and your exact situation. But it doesn't stop there. As the founder of an AI consultancy firm in Miami, I've helped dozens of businesses get better output from large language models like ChatGPT, and I'm gonna share some tricks that not many people are talking about. In addition to telling it what you do, true power users also include their expertise level in custom instructions. For example, I'm a software developer with 10 plus years experience in Python. That's important. Next, you'll want to incorporate unconventional problem solving prompts in your custom instructions. Here's what I mean. Instead of simply saying, use a conversational tone that's forward thinking, you could instead instruct ChatGPT to generate more creative solutions by using a custom instructions prompt like this. For complex challenges, automatically identify two to three unrelated fields that offer relevant insights. For example, biological systems for business problems, game theory for personal relationships. Extract applicable principles and explain how they create unconventional solutions to the current challenge. This encourages the AI to break conventional thinking patterns by forcing it to mix ideas from different places. Click the link in the description for my complete guide to ChatGPT custom instructions. It's free and I've included it below. Number two, use meta prompting and feedback. You've heard the saying, garbage in, garbage out. And it's true. The quality and structure of the information you put in determines how good or bad the AI's response will be. Here are two tricks for quickly optimizing your AI prompts. Number one, meta prompting. Meta prompting is when you ask ChatGPT to help you write better questions. So you might say, write an optimized prompt to help a large language model write better blog introductions. I mostly use this hack when prompting for AI images. I don't have a background in photography, so asking ChatGPT to craft the prompts for me results in much better AI art. Incremental feedback is your second trick for significantly better AI results. Most users accept the first result ChatGPT gives them. This is a mistake. Tell ChatGPT what you like or don't like about its responses. Be specific. What needs improvement? What do you want to see more of? And what could be adjusted for your specific situation? I know it seems like a ton of extra work, but try doing this for two weeks. The AI will remember this feedback for future responses, effectively learning your preferences over time. This back and forth creates an inward spiral where each response gets better and better. Really, it will blow your mind how much better it gets after just two weeks. Okay, number three, prioritize privacy. ChatGPT spies on you and it uses your personal data to train its AI models, unless you specifically tell it not to. Open settings by tapping your profile picture, data controls, and toggling off the improve the model for everyone button. Another thing is you'll want to turn on incognito mode for privacy or confidential conversation. You do this by tapping the lasso icon in the top right corner of your screen. OpenAI won't save your conversations when you use this feature. So it's really helpful. I actually learned the importance of incognito mode the hard way and giving a speech in front of 100 plus people. With my ChatGPT screen open behind me, I was so embarrassed to see green dog poop causes visible in my recent chat history. Yeah. So now when I need to ask ChatGPT things like, why is my dog's poop green? I use a temporary chat or incognito mode. ChatGPT pros know that incognito mode is especially important when sharing confidential business information or personal details that you don't want stored, like sensitive information about your kids or dog. Number four, use deep research together with connectors. ChatGPT connectors let you link your favorite apps like Gmail and Google Drive to ChatGPT, 
This lets the AI help you with your emails, files, and calendar without switching between apps, which can be super useful. Setting up connectors is a simple process. In ChatGPT, go to Settings, Connectors, select the apps you want to connect, and click Connect. Then, log into your accounts to activate the connections. You'll need to approve permissions for the first time, but you only have to do this once. To use connectors in your AI chat, you just need to choose Deep Research in the prompt box, then click Sources and toggle on the app or tool that you want ChatGPT to have access to for that query. You can select more than one, which is also great. You'll need to be a paying ChatGPT subscriber to use connectors, but it's definitely worth it if you're able. Number five, multimodal use. You wouldn't believe how many people tell me they're ChatGPT power users only to find out they aren't using its multimodal capabilities. Let me explain. Multimodal just means ChatGPT can work with different types of input, not just text. So you can upload images, PDFs, and even use voice commands. For example, upload an old family photo and ask ChatGPT to restore it, or turn a black and white photo into color. Upload a picture of a math problem and ChatGPT will solve it, or snap a picture of a confusing error message and it'll explain what's wrong and how to fix it. Those are beginner level. Pro users know that you can now share your screen with ChatGPT, which means you can show ChatGPT what's on your phone and it can help you with what it sees. To share your screen with ChatGPT, open the app on your phone and tap the sound bar icon on the far right of the prompt box. Tap the three dots and choose share screen. That's it. Number six, enhanced memory. OpenAI announced improved memory in April, 2025. This means ChatGPT can now reference your entire chat history. Pro users know how to use this to their advantage. These are my favorite creative memory tricks that separate the beginners from the true power users. You ready? Even with enhanced memory, your ChatGPT memory will eventually get full. But instead of deleting things, ask ChatGPT to summarize or merge multiple old tips, styles, or audience profiles into a concise memory handbook. You can then upload this into a ChatGPT project for future use. This lets you preserve value while keeping memory limits in check. I do it all the time. Another hack I use a lot is what I call memory ideation. Prompt ChatGPT to consider everything it knows about you, habits, aspirations, and routines, and suggest unexpected high leverage ways to find blind spots in your questions or research. You can also just specifically tell ChatGPT to remember certain things for you. I use this approach together with feedback. For example, I recently asked ChatGPT to write an email for me, but I ended up tweaking the email to sound more like me. I then pasted the final version back into ChatGPT and said, this is the final draft that I used. Please remember it as reference when you write future emails. Bonus round. If you're a fan of my channel, you know I always include a bonus trick at the end of my videos. Here it is. Connect ChatGPT advanced voice mode to scheduled tasks using trigger words. Here's why. When I turn on ChatGPT voice mode and say, good morning, ChatGPT knows to respond by telling me the local weather, followed by a detailed summary of all the AI news I missed overnight. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So here we go in that confident, slightly fast paced mode. Today in Miami, you're looking at a high around 88 degrees Fahrenheit with some pretty humid conditions and early thunderstorms in the afternoon. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And for a quick AI news flash, one of the top stories today is that OpenAI just read out a new update. Here's how to do it. Include your trigger word in custom instructions. Remember in step one, when we customize ChatGPT settings, in your custom instructions, include specific rules for advanced voice mode. For example, you might structure it like this. Advanced voice mode. When a user says local deals, find the top food discounts or restaurant specials in my area. This is obviously one specific use case, but you can get really creative with this. If you made it this far, hit the bell icon so you know when I upload a new video. If you do that, Three months from now, you'll be ahead of 95% of AI users. 